existence was about of you looking up just at that room for 20,000 years as you were going through development and you don't have anybody to come and tell you that, hey, that kind of shit happens. But just the, the clothes in the reality, like the robotic feel, this is like a Westworld because we know what is going on in, in commitment. We, we are getting a little taste of what the real knowledge is. They have the whole corpus. And that again goes under the motif of Moses, who is the goat herder, Mason, a goat, who always has the horns, taking this knowledge, which it shows you in their book. Moses plunders Kemetans, takes the knowledge, goes to the desert with it, and convinces other people who don't want to be there to try to come to this desert. And this exists today. Like the reason why they started opening up, and here's another clarification that needs to be clear, because I feel like that as we keep going, and this is, you know, maybe they hit Alex about this, maybe they hit uh, 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 Cutie Pie on the, the, the YouTube's own, uh, uh, YouTube's own, because of the anti-Semitism, right? So we need to ver clarify very briefly what the term Jew means. Jew is a term that means that is a reference to Judea, okay? Very clearly, Judea. And for me to say that I'm a Jew from Judea is like me saying I'm an American from America. I have not told you anything about what family I belong to, what color I am, or any of that. And if we understand, as I say, you gotta have a firm grip on her story and history. We need to understand that the Romans sacked the Jews, destroyed their temple, <laughs> and sent them flying out of the area. And they had forever wanted to get that area back. They were forever banking. They are the mafia. They are Italy. They are all of that stuff, invading other countries, all that kind of stuff. So when they got a chance to come back and take over that area, they take people's gods. So they called themselves Jews out of being Ju the Roman God. The biggest Roman God was Jupiter, the God of judgment. All the Jew word is a Jew. Jew is a word of power and it tends to all how words are constructed in a tense. So what I'm saying is, because it's basically a vessel that is holding fire. That's what a J-U is or a Y-U. A U is a vessel, a Y is a fire. So it's a vessel holding fire. <clears throat> so when we're saying that, that's why it's like the lions and the lions hold the fire. Like if you ever seen even lions and mating, you understand that the lion is delivering electric charge like you, you even see the female respond to the electric charge. So this is like the connection with why the Sphinx, what is the mystery of the Sphinx? Because that race of the sun, just like every single other totem who has their totems, you got owl races of humanoid owl people, but don't know that they're owls. You got sloth people still, and don't know that they're sloths. They can't see the connection. But if you watch Jupiter Ascending, the movie, you'll see how Balim Everyone who serves Baalim is forced to take on an animal characteristic. You see him as a mouse, you see him as a weasel. And this is just to make people identify, which is here in my notes to mention. Identify only with terrestrial things and make extraterrestrial or extraordinary things off world. So that way we get our, I, our identities hijacked. We only identify with terrestrial forms. We think God is now a human being. We think divine feminine and masculine is a male and a female human and that's that's the quick switch and that's why i said it's just a mirror hmm. on the astral plane the equivalent of what a mirror is here there's one in the astral plane and this is one of the most devious kinds of magic if you don't know what's going on because it's like a crystal just like you said you were looking into this crystal and it can show you different facets of yourself and like narcissus you can fall into one of those characters never realizing that you're the entire fractal and this is getting so like dan winter would even mention in, in trying to love us and show us it's getting so re, so um it's it's replicating so fast in our dna that many of us are ha struggling making it beyond the speed of 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 time okay so we know the speed of sound we know the speed of light so what is the speed of time and even us just finally getting constructed, especially when we're all on one, with some people who know these dynamics, like people who work at CERN in there eating hot dogs, and just ask them, so wouldn't the speed of time have a vibration? Can we replicate the sound in a vacuum by just tripling and keep tripling until we hear sound and that take us 
beyond the wavelength? Absolutely. And this is what happens with the construct of the consciousness when it unites with the original which you are. It is the only thing that you can shield yourself from in a reality that is illusory. Stand with the truth. That's again why we're here on True Frequency Radio. But I want to bring that full circle. Let me just look also, because it did bring onto my mind to make sure that this is covered as far as the notes here. Now, remember, bullying, the act of bullying, okay? Because what happens is when you get into the animal construct, once they show the mirror to you, and then now you go, because that's why the Tono and the Nawa and the Toltec dreaming and the black mirror and the obsidian mirror is all showing you the same, it's telling you the same thing, Amateo, like, you know, looking into the mirror, what happened? What was he saying? Like he saw the future of the world, what was going on? So when you investigate all this, which is too much for us to recount now, you find that there's an extreme connection with the animals. And so what happens is, is that in this construct, there's this bullying because the bull is seen as one of the most strongest animals, right? So bullying is literally a reference to a way that an animal acts. Now, imagine a bull then around, let's say a less animal, like let's say it's just, a, I don't know, a skunk, a weasel, a koala. The behavioral difference between a bull versus a koala creates racism and creates inequalities. So this is why, as I said, we have to watch this mirror world. Like what happened at the end of Conan? He had to break all of the mirrors to figure out that entity that they're depicting, where what, where that entity actually really was. So you're just basically taking all of the pieces of every time they flirt with the truth and bring it to you and then put it all into one thing. And what it's saying is, it sums it all up. You gotta stop judging all itself you're going to create this stuff so fast you're never going to know that you're creating it meaning whatever your future is if you keep creating and letting it suck the life out of your joy and this happens because it's very important like as perfect beings okay not by the way the world defines it but there's never been a mistake okay so as perfect beings when we try to interpret that to the world's perfection just like Man's knowledge is foolishness to the supreme. Man's knowledge is foolishness to the supreme. So when we try to actually connect that knowledge into, hold on, I'm just gone, I'm gone now. I'm just basically saying that in conclusion, because this is now three hours, and I did gather my thoughts here. The judgments and the division is the key. Removing the judgment and the division and seeing the connection not letting them pull you into the race wars and the race games or the dividing of any creatures and entities. Seeing yourself behind the eyes of the male and the female animals, the males and the female humans. Because remember the human body, as we would know animals, imagine if I blend you with cheetah and then put a human face on you, you're even more advanced. This is just one of the templates, right? Look at what Kimmy is showing us. They had multiple templates they were working with. So what we're getting at here is, is that, but still in the game, if you lose sight of what's going on, you lose sight of where your connection is back through the portal. And here, because there's a nighttime, and that's, that's what's the main thing that needs to be delivered in this conversation, is to remember when we refer to the children of the sun, we have to understand that there is another set of children, okay? And these children are nocturnal horns hooves and tails it's like another side of our consciousness also so we have to realize that it's always been for the children of the sun to rise like basically to bring the resurrection because that, imagine embodying the sun what do you do you bring sunrise all the time so this means that you're literally bringing that to something though what is that something the horns the hooves and the tails the nocturnal beings. The darkness. Exactly. Now notice Moses walks out with the horns. There's a lot of things that you can depict as being horned. Now, if we can metamorphosize that, because any healer is not gonna look for the any healer is not gonna look for all the problems. They're gonna look for the solutions. And that's what I'm saying with this. We have to really love this. We have to really have compassion for it to connect. Because then the truth well, then it's like the, the characters start rolling together and the truth starts spelling itself out. And that's what's happening. And that's why I said that's how you can connect Hiram Abib 
That's how you can connect Solomon. That's how you can connect Murugan. And most importantly, that's how you can connect yourself. Because those are symbols. They're not just people. Those are constellations and star systems. And when we move beyond like the petty stuff, we get an opportunity to really enjoy what those experiences are have for us, but through each other. Because each of the people that are in this group are those beings. And so we that's what it is. We grow to sit down for that conversation. So I can have a tendency after three hours to start to taper off. Some may be noticing, but you get where the vibration is coming from because it does I do have to climb something to build to reach the knowledge that I feel is relevant for this. Of creating a Merkaba between twin flames, between two masculine feminine energies like that. And how does that relate to this artificial Merkaba that you were talking about? In conclusion, you know, this is actually a really good place to tie it in because that is the difference. One is created from love. The other one is created from the mind. So the artificial Merkaba is actually created from the logical side of the consciousness by trying to figure out the mathematics behind how God put the world together when he merged letter with number or it merged letter with number, utilizing those mathematical quotients mentally in order to create a space and to bring a form from that space that is not confined <clears throat> by and this is what makes it so wicked because this it this this what's brought forth it, it didn't come from a womb it didn't have a mama it was not warm when it was created so it does not come with kindness or come with healing so that's what artificial work of it does it makes you want to get more money and greedy mm -hmm. it's the monkey's paw it makes you, you know, you don't think about healing people. You think about selling the medicine, you know, so every single thing that is involved with it, it, it just starts turning things in the wrong direction. But the actual that's where the deeper tantrics, because that's the only thing that the OTO was able to retain from all the knowledge that they learned when especially Hitler continued to pursue the knowledge from not only the Bohemians, but also the um, the Bourbons, excuse me, the, the, the Bourbons. So anyway, this knowledge was just the knowledge about sexual tantra. And even to this day, that's it. That's all that's in Kraliism. It, it, and it's very inverted. But they are simply trying to preserve that at that point of creation, the gap is open. When two people come together and they have their energies in alignment and the woman knows how to control the vehicle because the man actually is in a very prone state at that, that time. When she knows how to control the vehicle, she's able to take the soul into a higher space and that vehicle because all these are vehicles right so just get everybody should get today that you literally turn like let's say now you become a diamond now you become a trillion cut now you become in this geometry that you're changing to allows you to fit through the filter of the film that separates one reality from another so remember the temples are configured to do this also so i didn't say external Merkaba was good or evil I, I tend to not go into that because it doesn't lead anywhere. But just remember, they had these things like in the backyard. So you being able to get to Andromeda from your backyard was common. You being able to have a universal system where all your augmentations, your metaphysical augmentations, what we're calling technology now, was all run on the same system that you drew power from. So everything is entwined. You know what? Because that is a high vibration. All we have to do is wake up from this spell, which we're going to do together, and we're going to be there. And that's what it's all about. It's not going to be in this form, though, because this form, just like what you see, what are those holy letters? What are those holy words? What are letters and words? Letters and words are humans. The Kabbalah, A to Z, is the human being, the Kabbalah. So those holy words are a holy, a holy being. We won't even call it a human. So it just means a state or a language or a vibration that we can put ourselves into that is so much more greater, it can't even be in this world. So if you're ever wondering how you're not gonna come back here anymore, you had all the lessons, that's all you should work on is increasing your vibration. And when you pursue this knowledge, because there's so much out there, there's so much on, on YouTube, you know, there's so much coming from the brothers and sisters delivering the meditations, you know, just big shout out big respect you know i don't know what the shout out means like big you would kill the person big shout out <laughs> like, what I got does that even mean go to the club <laughs> what does that even mean it's like okay so you know just much honor much love respect to the tribe out there you know to every single person that has come into this co-creation and delivered today to us being able to talk about these subjects 
also actionize these and even be after the fact, like the brother and sister bringing that, yo, I was in there. They went all the way. They risked their lives. So surely there are great things to come. And so that's what I love about this space is because we're all heralders. And I guess I'll end with that. We herald the times. We are that comet that comes through. Like they say in the beginning of the prayer, call the comet. You know, call in the space because something needs to happen. And here are the details. Because normally it's like, call in the space, something needs to happen. Any details? No details. The <laughs> transcript's not in yet. Like, okay, I'll keep reading all this. Now, 20,000 books later, imagine 20,000 something books somewhere in there later. I still feel the strain of really trying to understand some of the first stories just because of how much confusion. But when I back off and I say, okay, let's just put these pieces here as they are with no division. That is the only time they reveal themselves. And they tell a very basic story about that we are all that we need. When we stop fighting, when we start ch stop challenging each other, and when we come together and we use our knowledge and intelligence, which is what we're doing, this is not one of those Dr. King speeches or any of those speeches that they want to talk about it and then still don't figure out how, can't figure out how to actionize people. First of all, and also trying to actionize one group of people as if we all have an experience of struggle. There's a strain every day to breathe right now for everybody. So being a dolphin right now in the ocean in the wrong spot right now, is, it's terrible right now. So that strain, we can use that power. Understand fear and all that, that's those are powerful energies, right? You know, when you get in that moment, some shit shocks you, like just that coursing, you, especially when it hits and you know there's that after charge and you're like, man, it's gonna be a pretty charge, pretty hard after effect from that amount of fear that I just expressed. So remember when you can harness that, because notice when you experience some really strong fear at one moment from something, if you just breathe that in and you hold it, you'll pass out. It's so high in essence. You see what I mean? But when you start learning how to play with that fear, you realize Donald Trump's impending world disasters, pestilence, any other kind of panties you can bring become great fuel for change. Great fuel for you to also realize to bring about that change in your life. And when you do it, if you care about yourself enough, that's why we say all is self. If you care about yourself enough to figure it out, you don't even got to come and tell us. There's a grid that all knowledge and communication passed down. It already happened. It goes right down that line. And whether I'm able to deliver it or not, or whether you're able to deliver it or not, it comes to us. And that's how we're working this now. So nobody is like the gatekeeper. All the knowledge is residing with them. If they shut up, another mouth will open. Several mouths will open. We just need to know as a collective, fix one thing with yourself. Stop judging. I can tell you it over and over again, all this stuff I tell you today, the greater things will not be, you will not be able to access at all. You cannot. If somehow you get into it, you are done. There are people in the hospital right now in Jerusalem and in many places where like the Sharifs, okay? Remember this knowledge that we're talking about, that talk about the pyramid, we're just at the forefront. We haven't even met some of the other life forms that exist within that space. But remember, it won't be because the world didn't know about it before. Like we believe like we're the only beings that exist in the entire galaxy and the cosmos. Think about the Sharifs, okay? One more mystery and we're done. We're done. The Sharif is where the English word sheriff comes from, okay? The sheriff, he carries a star. Now, on the spiritual plane, that star is like a flaming fire to many beings. It scares them. That is how talismans are formed. Now, they are in a cabal themselves, so they have power and they make certain things because they enlist nobles, metals that you can bend and you, you can hold them at your sway as a craftsman, okay? So they built these stars, six points and five points, and they strike fear in dark forces. So when a five or six of those stars show up, we can say, police, I don't care how crunk that individual's getting. All of a sudden, he either starts running, he gets on the ground. Only the strongest demons can resist that star. Now, where did that come from? In ancient Morocco, which actually leads you all the way back down the Nile Valley again, you know, this is just a development of the culture. They practice the art where the language was so powerful, it allowed you to not only keep negative ideas out of the space or negative frequencies, it's better for us to see it that way. 
They knew how to remove entities with certain frequencies. So all of that was in play and they called that person the Sharif. And when anything popped off that was on the extra dimensional level that needed to be handled, this is the person you call. Now, imagine this, this day and age, that's broke down to a person who knows nothing about spirituality showing up to your house with just a little symbol of Saturn, which is a gun, lead, right? The, the lead of Saturn, death, the seven, the sky, right? Where you can bring death, you can also bring life. This is why you can never get caught up in any of these archetypes as if there's not a graduated stage and as if there's not a, lead, not a need. Some of us need to destroy some things that we've created with our own consciousness. And that same power will evolve into regenerating. So what I'm getting at here in conclusion is, this is all what awaits. I don't feel old. I don't feel tired. I feel like I'm just beginning. I'm accepting that I'm young and I'm young and wise, but I'm not thinking that I know everything because there is no everything. Again, the conclusion of your thoughts for those that are big time in the brain gym and just feel like they can figure out everything, I will tell you, you cannot. You can get a hold of the essence of things and ride beyond where thought goes. But if you think you're gonna figure it all out, just understand your sheer existence. Some people have to think about this a lot, but it's always something I always say in all my shows because it is the most powerful thing. It is the key to endless perpetual energy. What was I gonna say? <laughs>